Welcome, Taurus. Thanks so much for joining me. I really appreciate you taking the time out of your day to come and see my channel. This is going to be an October reading um, for the sign of Taurus. It's a general read, so please take what resonates and let go what doesn't. This month, I have decided to do the breakdown of the elements, which is the Earth of the Pentacles, which is all about our um, home life, our career, our finances. Then we're going to jump over to our um, swords energy, which is the air, which is what we think about, how we perceive things. Then the next is the cups, which is the emotions, relationships, things like that. And then the wands, which is our spirituality, our creativity, our passions. So the first thing we're going to get for you guys is one major and one minor arcana. The minor arcana is definitely going to be pentacles here because I had that's how I planned it out. So we're going to get a pentacles card as well as a major arcana. Let's see what's coming up for your material world. All right. So we have the queen of pentacles and the magician. So the queen of pentacles is somebody who's like a mother figure. She can balance the home, balance the kids, stay stable, get it all done. Right. So somebody nurturing, secure, stable. The magician is somebody who has all the tools. He's learned all the lessons. You know, he has here the cups, he has the swords, he has the wands, and he has the pentacles. So he's got his act together and he's going to go after manifestation. So he has all the tools he needs to um, get his abundance. So, so far, so good for you, Taurus. So let's see what else is coming up. We're going to use this Halloween Oracle and we have Dawn, the light after the darkness. So you could have went through some hard times, some shadows, some negative energy, and now this, this new daybreak coming through this new lightness a new beginning so there's uh this new dawn coming in so and you know what hope is one of the strongest forces to manifest and to motivate us right out of anything so you have that coming through so so far like it's really looking good let's go ahead and get our, our tarot cards so we have the page of cups so some kind of intuition coming in something about your cre new creative start let's see what else King of Cups, mastering your emotions, and the Knight of Wands, taking action towards something that you're passionate about, your creativity. And let's get a um, advice card for you. So you're being asked to surrender. It looks like you kind of already have because you are like really balanced at peace. Surrender and go with the flow of life. You know, if we resist, we just create more create chaos and unhappiness with ourselves. So just kind of surrender to what is and you know stay motivated and on path right all right so we're going to go ahead and get our air energy or our mental energy okay so now we have a major arcana and a swords card minor arcana okay so we have the three of swords which is all about heartbreak nobody likes to see this card this is all about somebody stabbing us in the heart betraying us hurting us and then you have this devil energy which is like addictions toxic energy negativity so what I'm getting is like after some kind of hurt here, it could be the person. They were like in a toxic energy or low vibration. Um, could have been on drugs, alcohol, whatever. Um, it also could be your energy after that happened. You know, we hit a bottom when somebody hurts us and sometimes we're not in the best vibration, right? So you could have like resorted to dealing with it by drinking alcohol, acting out, something like that. So who, how, take it how it resonates. This is some energy that was coming in in your mental field. This also, with this in, in mental field, could be just like your, ment, you know, your uh, negative thoughts. You know, your critical beliefs about yourself. Things like that. All right. So let's see what else is coming in. Okay. So we have jack o' lantern. This is protection. Although you had this negative energy, you had still protection around you. And you still felt that protection from whatever you believe in, your spirits, your angels, your ancestors, whatever. You did have protection around you because you were more in a higher vibration than somebody that actually did something dirty to you, right? So you felt protected. You still felt good. You, even though you like your emotions were all over the place, you might have dipped into some negative toxic behaviors or, or pattern thinkings, but you still had that protection around you, you know, so... Um, this is also thinking like the way you handled it, like maybe you did dip down a little, but it's natural because, you know, we are human. So we do experience like negative emotions and things like that. 
the the way you handled it, like you still like stand stood in your integrity and things like that. The the universe and spirit guides and all that and the universe and all that likes people that stand in their power, their grace, their integrity. So you were protected, right? And then eventually karma is going to come back around. The universe has kind of your back. And you know that. That's what the mental thoughts are here. So let's see what else. Ace of Potions. That's the Ace of Cups reversed. So this here is also the Ace of Potions reversed is the Ace of Cups reversed. So you could have like started thinking like taking it personally, thinking it was you, thinking like you, you just don't have what it takes, like that insecurity could have came in. And then we have Ace of Presence. But this is like actually a new beginning in the material world. So something could have happened here where someone did you dirty, left you, ghosted you, cheated on you, whatever. You dip down a little bit, like we all do, you know, hurt, started thinking like, you know, must have been something I did. Why didn't they like me? Stuff like that, that negative behavior, you know, not the best behavior. Um, so it got you off a little guard, but then you started off on this new journey towards your uh, material world, you know, something new. Uh, maybe you had to move. Uh, maybe you just had to like hang around with different people, whatever it was. There was a new beginning in your material world. And then this is the Knight of Potions reversed. So when this is upright, this is the um, Knight of Cups. That's somebody that who's romantic, wearing their heart on the sleeve. So when it's reversed, you kind of like maybe, you know, step back and kind of like wasn't weren't very open, guarding your heart, standoffish a little bit. Again, that's very understandable because you just went through this heartbreak, you know. So let's see what your advice is here. The portal keeper. So this portal keeper is exploring like uh, the different edges of reality, like being more sensitive, being more receptive, being more aware. So of course, like when we get hurt, we do get guarded, but we also get more vulnerable, right? So that's something that you were going through. That's your advice, you know, just like don't take everything so personally. Don't chain your heart up because if somebody hurt you, you don't want somebody to affect your life and cause distress in your life for longer periods of time. You you have to, you know, learn the lessons and kind of heal and just realize they weren't in a good place and, you know, don't take it personally, definitely, you know? So, you know, kind of opening back that heart up again, you know, exploring those realms of the whole universe, seeing things in a bigger picture, kind of. So now that almost seemed like a, the emotions, but yeah, that's that was your train of thought there. So now we are going to get the cups or the mental, I mean the emotions. So let's see. So now we have the nine of cups in the world. So this is somebody that's in a place of contentness, being happy with what they are, like grateful for the things they have in their life and appreciating people that do have their back and, and love them. And the world is a completion. So after all that hurt and all that, once you went through that and, you know, you got your mind straight of not th taking things so critical or personal and things like that, you started looking around and you started seeing like, you know what? Wow, I have a lot of people that do like you started seeing the people that do have your back, that do really love you. And then, you know, it just kind of changed your world and it like completed that cycle and you moved forward. Let's see what else is coming up. Forgiveness. Yeah. And this says um, reducing burden. Yeah. So then you came to this place of forgiveness. Do you have to bring that person back in your life? No, but you forgave because you knew it was poison to you and it was going to affect you and not only you, people that you do love and do have your back around you. So you gave this forgiveness. Then we have the two of cups. This is harmonious relationships. This is what you are like connecting with now. Not people that like are going to cheat on you. You can't trust things like that. Nine of wands is like... Getting through hard times, you might have some battle scars and wounds, but you, uh, you're persevering. And then you have the moon. Listening to your intuition, you might have a little fear. That's natural. Um, you know, you just as long as it doesn't become uh, negative to your life, you know. This is fears. This is listening to the intu intuition. Things, Some things could be still hidden about what this person did. Things might not be illuminating. And it could be some deception energy around you. But if somebody's going to cheat on you or lie to you or do you dirty or something like that, there's always kind of some kind of deception or darkness around that. 
and your um, advice is evolution. Yeah, just keep evolving. Be the bigger person. Um, you know, listen to your intuition. Trust your spirit guides and your higher self, okay? Take this as a lesson. Learn the lessons from it and move forward. All right, now we're going to go ahead and get your wands energy or your spiritual energy. Your passionate energy. Let's see what's coming up with these two cards. Ace of Wands, a new beginning towards your passions, your, your your creativity, your spirituality, as well as strength. Yes, you're gaining strength, tapping into your spirituality and your higher self. Then we have the witch. So this witch says, the earthly weaver of the words. So knowing that you can um, manifest and, and create any life you want. You know, you have magic all around you and you can create the life you want. You don't need anybody to dictate what you do or decide who you are or anything like that. You can weave and create anything you want. There's magic around you, okay? And then we have the hermit. Yes, because you went within and gained that inner wisdom. You've done some meditation, tapped into your higher self, listened to your spirit guides, gained that wisdom. Wheel of Fortune, yep, this is all about the cycle turning. Um, what goes around comes around. So if this person treated you dirty, you already know, like, you know, I already forgave. So if the universe wants and when it wants to, divine timing, it can do the karma it wants to do to that person. I'm moving forward and being happy with my life. And, you know, this is also good karma coming back to you as well. Okay, so now we have the Four of Presents. This is the Four of Pentacles. Um, four of pentacles reversed four of pentacles is all about like you know um, could be like a greedy energy um, like self but that um, that makes sense though I'm not going to say like you're being greedy or selfish because that's what this card could mean like hoarding stuff to yourself being greedy but what I see it as with the stuff that you've went to you're keeping to yourself you know that makes sense though you know like sometimes we do need to take that and nurture ourselves and take care of ourselves first and foremost especially after we've been hurt and treated wrongly so the advice trust your innocence yeah this is like tapping back into like well, before we were born um like who we were before we got like all this crap put on us like the earthly um people that have like treated us dirty all the negativity you know trapping back into that innocence like what we were born here to do listening to that intuition from our higher self like that that purity that innocence so that looks like it's your messages this month taurus thanks so much for watching i hope you have a beautiful month take care bye